Getting organized doesn't have to be expensive and it doesn't have to be real difficult, it just has to be done. And it's really important that you do that for your own peace of mind and for your own efficiency when you're working at home or on the job, obviously. But we're gonna show you a few things that'll make that process a lot easier. And one of the simplest uh, that we can start off with, I think, is uh, a wood pallet workbench. Now, look at this thing. This is just a basic pallet and you can find these things uh, a lot of places will let you take them, ask before you do. But you know, uh, stock and different stuff comes into stores on these things and they toss them out a lot of times out in back of the place and they're just gonna have them hauled away so they'll let you take them. Uh, before they get them hauled away though, ask if you can have them and you can make things, uh, for example, like this basic workbench. Now this is not fancy, it's not highly finished, but it's a great work surface. You can set power tools on these things, you can set, uh, you know, compound miter saws, all kinds of things on top of these boards, just a lot of equipment, a lot of tools, a lot of materials, and it's, uh, it's just a good working surface. You don't have to worry about messing it up because you haven't sanded it down and finished it to a high gloss or any of that kind of thing. It's just a nice functional surface. Hey, I hold in my hand some of the most important tools you'll have when you're working on just about any kind of a project pens and or pencils, right? Okay, now here's my problem with pens and pencils. You need them all the time, you, but, you, but you take one and you, you draw a line, you know, on a board or whatever you're working on and you set it down and you turn your back and when you turn back to grab that pencil, it has disappeared somewhere. So you grab another one. That's why you've got this many of them. You grab another one, you draw your line, you set it down, you turn your back to do something, and when you turn back to grab that pencil, it's gone too. It's almost like the pencil gremlins are in the garage or your work area helping you out by stealing all these things, right? So how do you combat that? Well, this is so simple, it's stupid, right? But basically, <clears throat> excuse me, basically you get yourself a tin can, drill a hole in the side of it. I know, pretty amazing high technology stuff. And it doesn't have to be, you know, a real fancy tin can. It can be an empty vegetable can. Take a, a hook in it. Take a hook that, uh, you know, fits into a pegboard. Put that through the hole you've drilled. Pick up your pens and pencils. Drop them in the tin can and I'll tell you what. You got just a very handy pen and pencil holder that you can hang on your pegboard and by gosh, they're all right there at your fingertips whenever you need them. One thing when you're working on a project uh, that, that is easy to misplace, or at least to set aside somewhere, is a, a screwdriver, you know? And uh, it's nice to have a variety of screwdrivers and it's nice to keep them handy. And one way to do that is simply to make a very easy uh, screwdriver holder. And I'll tell you, there's really nothing to this. Take a piece of board, to, and it doesn't have to be a two by four, it can be any piece of scrap wood you've got. and drill a couple of holes in there of the appropriate size. I'm only gonna put a couple in this thing. But <clears throat> you've got a nice simple place to stash your screwdrivers. And uh, you know, it's really handy that way. And I, now, when you look at this, you look down, you can't really tell what kind of screwdriver it is, whether it's a flathead or whether it's a Phillips or whatever, but you can get around that real simply too. These happen to both be Phillips screwdrivers. Just take a marker or a pencil or whatever you want and just indicate on the appropriate slot what it is, whether it's a flathead or a Phillips screwdriver or just whatever it is. You always know what you've got. It's easy to find, they're easy to get to, and you can do anything. You can make a little portable totes where you can carry your screwdrivers around like this and uh, obviously you can attach them to your workbench. Any number of things, again, very low cost, very easy to do and a pretty efficient way to keep things organized in your garage. Here's just a, a very simple idea. You just take a magnet, and it doesn't have to be one that you make and magnetize yourself. You can buy these things at different places, you know. But a magnet board, hanging on a shelf or on a wall or wherever, and just put your stuff up there like so. It's a great way to keep these things in sight. You know exactly what you've got. You know exactly what you're working with. Uh, you know, you can do it temporarily, just the things that you've got that you're working with right at the particular time, stick them on a, on a magnet board like that, or you can store them there for as long as you want, as long as you know where they are, and as long as you know where to go to get them when you need them. So, again, just a very inexpensive and simple way to stay organized in the garage and get your work done more efficiently and uh, faster. We've shown you a little bit about lawn and order. I hope you find some of those tips uh, are very useful, and uh, at this point, all I can say is uh, hop to it, get back to work. And we'll see you next time, okay? Thanks.